Good morning, YouTube. How you doing? It is auction day, day of battle. Day when everybody fights to see who can get the best junk for the least amount of money. I'm about to head out there shortly. I just want to stop in and say hello before I did. And I'm actually putting this um, here because, as everybody probably knows right now, we're about to get a hurricane. And I just want to document everything on film on how everything looks. And we'll see if we get any effects from it. We're we're probably only gonna get the the outer bands down here in Florida or down here in where I'm at it looks like so hopefully all the people who are in the path will stay safe. Um, I'll see you guys at the auction. Hey guys what's up? It's been a really long day. It's been a really hot day. Um, for the second month in a row most of the units were pretty trashy. Um, a couple of the high bidders, they usually come in and buy a lot of units. Didn't, didn't take anything home, if that tells you anything. Um, I picked up one for $10 because it had a pair of Nikes. I know, crazy, right? They were uh, black Air Force Ones, mint condition. And um, I'll probably make like 60 bucks off those, so. Uh, I had to drop off a little bit of trash. Um, but you know, for a $50 profit, I'm cool with that. Not a big deal. Picked up another one for $25, which I haven't gone through yet. Uh, we're about to head over there now, and um, that one had a guitar, some clothing, some couches, um, a bunch of iPhones, and uh, and stuff. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go see what that one has in it now. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, it's kind of hard to see, but this is what I bought today for twenty-five dollars. Gonna jump in here and see if there's anything good in here. super dark. Uh, that's a weed eater. Which is battery powered. Hopefully the cord or whatever is in there. The charger. Okie dokie. No idea what this is, but hey, it's cool. So there's this thing, which I have no idea what it is. We'll just have to do some research. Some metal chairs here. This is why I bought it right here. And I thought these were all iPhones, but they're not. So. I don't know. Hopefully, we can sell the couch set for 50 bucks. I'm gonna do some work guys I'll let you know if I find anything good all right guys so I did want to go ahead and recap what I ended up picking up uh, today so you can see here I have some elbows for gutters and then you can see here that I have tons of this stuff now originally I was gonna take that stuff to the recycling place and I was gonna recycle it and get whatever I could for the weight of the aluminum because I had those two pieces of aluminum over there, which I wasn't sure what those were either. But a buddy of mine does uh, pool cages, gutters, and and uh, and all that kind of stuff. And he says that what happens is they take a screw and they bolt the screw onto this thing, and then they charge two dollars each for them. So he did find out you can buy the screw set, and where all you have to do is attach the screw set. He's going to go ahead and buy those for me for half of retail. And I'm just going to throw in all this other stuff here, this aluminum stuff, because he's a pretty good friend of mine. I've known him since I've been here in Florida. Uh, but that's going to triple my the money I've already spent for the unit. So there we go. Uh, not even six hours later, and I've already tripled my money. And then found a couple of other things in there, which were cool. Um, I didn't actually look at these, but, you know, art sets are always fun. Oh, yeah. 
they definitely did do some art in their time. So those look pretty worn out and pretty used. However, we've got a Learn to Play the Guitar book here. Pretty cool, right? Old school. Um, I hear that that doesn't change though. It stays the same. So we have this here, which is Neil Young's Greatest Hits, Finger Picking. Uh, which, you know, I don't know. Let's see if we can find out when this was made here. Uh, doesn't say on that page. I don't know. I can't imagine it was too terribly long ago because it was $12.99. So we've got that. Uh, we've got the Breakout Bible, which is the fundamentals of breakbeat drumming. I have to bust that out when I play rock band next time. We've got the Best of Deep Purple, which uh, is a Hal and Leonard music book, uh, all for the guitar there. We've got the best of the 2000s. It's going to be stuff like Last Resort from Papa Roach, uh, Drops of Jupiter, uh, Disease. I don't think that's YouTube appropriate, so we're going to skip past that song. But yeah, that's cool. So anybody that was, you know, a big 2000s fan would really get into that. Uh, the last piece of literature that I found that I think might have some value is a Chilton's Manual. I don't think there's actually a lot of these on the road still. But, you know, mechanics like to collect them, so I think that this is an easy, good 15, 20 bucks right there. So there's that. There's this tool here, which I think is used for bending aluminum rods. I'm going to ask my friend if he has any interest in that. If not, I'll find out what it is. I'll either post it on... Uh, Facebook Marketplace or a uh, eBay local pickup. So moving on, I, pull, I pulled this out of there. Which is a rigid shop vac. I imagine I'll probably get about 25, 35, 40 bucks for this alone. So that's adding to our profit. Um, I got this this hoe. Everybody loves a good hoe from a storage unit. And uh, this one here, I think it says Expert Gardener on it, which I'm assuming is the brand name. So we'll find out if that's high end. It feels really nice. Oh boy. It's hard doing this at night, folks. The things I do for YouTube. So I pulled these out of a unit, which, you know, slides are cheap. And these just so happen to be my side, so those will probably get cleaned up and added to my collection. Don't have a color in black yet, just red and white. Then I got these, these were for resale. Um, they do look a little bit more beat up than I remember them looking at the unit. There's a little bit of distress there. But I still think they'll fetch a good 40 bucks on eBay. And then uh, this here, I don't know what it is, but it's another tool, I'll just have to figure that out. Then I got this weed eater, which is awesome because uh, sometimes the lawn guys miss certain spots in, in the, on the fence line. Now I can go back there and clean up after them. And I think that's about it for today's haul. Oh, if this is a vintage Tommy Hilfiger jacket that I didn't even know was in there until I got home, that would be super awesome. So the way you tell on Tommy is there's a little tag back here that tells you when it was made. And see, this one says nothing. Uh, I'm going to venture to say it's not super vintage, but it'll still fetch a, cu a couple dollars once I clean it up. As long as there's no holes or tears or anything in it. So that's about it today, guys. Uh, nothing major, not a super awesome home run. Some of the guys found gold out there today. I was not that lucky. Oh! forgot about this. This was also in the unit, which is a bona fide electric guitar. However, 
It's a first act electric guitar. Now, when they bought this, the pawn shop asked $70. And it doesn't have a date on it. And I'm sure they probably got it for 50 because, you know, you always have haggle with a pawn shop. But unfortunately, there's chips in the paint. As well as down here. And guys, this is all stuff that you need to think about whenever you're considering buying units. Uh, because that right there, it's probably going to earn me... Maybe 35, 40 bucks if I'm lucky with all the defects and the fact that it's a first act guitar. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm still going to make, you know, a couple hundred dollars for a day's work. So, you know, all's well that ends well. I uh, appreciate you guys checking me out. Oh, there was this too. This is a Milwaukee Charger for don't think I have anything that that goes with this thing looks super cool heavy duty and then these tools are in there which you know a few few here and there tools nothing super awesome there we go so yeah a lot of stuff missing out of there that's for sure but you know Everything comes in handy once in a while, and I know I'm always losing these right here or giving them away to people who buy furniture from me. So I always keep these when I find them. Yeah, same thing for all these sets here because they always get lost. So what I'll probably do is I have a lot of other tools. Oh, that's nice. Too bad they're not all in there. I have a lot of other tools that I think I'll probably fill in the empty spots, the loose spots, and then that way I can be a little bit more organized out here when I need to do some work. But yeah, that's it, guys. I um, appreciate you watching. If you uh, enjoy coming along with me in, on these adventures in Florida whenever the rest of the state is uh, preparing for a hurricane, then please, by all means, hit the like and the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm sweating. I'm going to go inside and cool off and have a cold one. By that, I mean iced tea. All right, guys. Next time. See you soon.